Sagittarius. What's coming in love for you guys? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. This does, tells me that you have limiting beliefs about relationships. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So for some of you, you're already in a relate. Oh, I have four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're already in a relationship. But you have limiting beliefs about the relationship. Go and take my self-concept workshop. That will help you identify what the limiting beliefs are that you have. You're going to heal this. These are definitely like religious beliefs or they've been, you've been like severely influenced by religion. In a negative way. Could be by a father figure or a leader in your community. You're up in your head all the time about relationships. <clears throat> so you have some type of information coming in. some type of messages coming in from your person. So they want to talk to you. Could be an air sign, could be a fire sign. You got to check all placements. They don't want to let you go. This person wants to fight for you. They don't want to be left out in the cold any longer. Um, they've had to do a lot of soul searching. They could be a Virgo as well. They see you. You're the star. You could have Aquarius placements as well. Or they could. So they see you as the star. I'm getting pulled to the star in the, the lantern here. They see you as the star. They've made a decision about you. They want you, only you. With judgment, it's a final decision. They're going to make you very happy. Okay. This is the decision to move forward with you. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. But again, there's limiting beliefs here that you need to take a look at. And get rid of those. What else do we need to know? may feel like you've been frozen in time. You may feel like you've been in hermit mode. You've gone through this transformation, a metamorphosis. You have not reached rock bottom. Okay. Sometimes maybe it feels like you have, but you have not. You have to, you have to learn how to transmute that stuff quickly. So you don't get stuck in it. Yeah. You get stuck. You easily get stuck in your head a lot and that holds you back. Okay. It holds you back from what it is that you want. You're this magical map shifter. Okay. You're the master manifester. You're manifesting everything 24 seven, what you want, what you don't want. So stop manifesting what you don't want. You're manifesting what you don't want through the limiting beliefs that you have in your subconscious mind. So correct those. Yeah. The way that you look at situations, you have to transmute that. Um, I have abundance. So she drops a coin in this grate. He drops a coin. You see how he, he's like freaking out? The amount of abundance that flows just flows to her because she's not in scarcity. Lack mentality is like tenfold than what flows to him because he transmutes that quickly or she transmutes that energy quickly. She doesn't get stuck in it, nor does she allow it to paralyze her. There's a need for you to be more balanced. Yeah, that may piss people off, but who cares? I feel like your diet also needs to be more balanced. 
This is a path of self-discovery that you're on. You're opening up your heart chakra. And you're learning how to consciously create. Right? This is magic. Magical map shifter. Okay? It's all about learning how to create. That's your crown chakra. You're receiving a lot of information, but you may not be taking action. You may not be following it as well as you could be. You might see white birds a lot. You might see white feathers. Yeah, you have this love offer coming in. Um, this person, they're going to wear their emotions on their sleeve. Like they're going to be very upfront with you about what they feel. There's going to be a lot of equal give and take with the six of pentacles. Let's get a goddess card. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And then start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. And that's really beautiful, too. Okay. I love you guys. You got this. Keep going.